Oh, it's been quite a three months. It has. We've been full time RVing for three months now. Yeah. Gosh, it seems like it's been so much longer than three months. It has. It really does. Yeah. It seems. Yeah. Think back to when we left the house the day before Thanksgiving. This is it. We're saying goodbye to our house. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah. That was a crazy Man. time. Yeah, so we've been three months full-time RVing now, so we're pros. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. <laughs> We no, learn about every day yeah, <laughs> something for sure, new. Something. What has been some of our biggest challenges? Um, some of your biggest challenges? Your gun's bathroom. <laughs> oh, I think I've adapted to that now. Adapted to the lack of space in the bathroom. I mean get used to it and work with it. This is all we have for our vanity. Oh, we've been having an issue with our tankless water heater that had issues ever since we purchased it from the dealer. So that's been a challenge. challenges. The very first challenge we had in the last three months was the dolly. We didn't know anything about dollies and apparently the dealership their help didn't either and they were trying to help us and a lot of things fold up on it well they didn't get the ramps secured the dolly part came up and it caught the front bumper and ripped two holes through it so that was our first issue yeah. second issue well actually there was a first issue with the dolly before that on our way that the dolly strap came off oh yeah and it was flopping around and we we luckily have this rear view camera and I could see the car starting this way and it always was going straight. So it pulled over and sure enough the strap came off and it bounced up and hit the car. It was cinched down really tight. Somehow it came loose. Came up and scratched the car a little bit. But the trailer's brand new, strap, everything, and it started to rip the strap. And then the second dolly issue would be once we arrived in Palm California Springs, yeah. and Palm Springs. So if you had some of these, some uh, horrifying stories <laughs> on your first That's, trip. Yeah, first trip. <laughs> don't feel bad. <laughs> so repairs, what we... repairs that oh, we have yes. done. We have a couple of repairs we need to do, but we're holding off because yeah. we feel extremely strongly that the dealership should be take care of them because it's something that their PDI missed to take care of. I wasn't able to get on the roof when we bought this and we were a little pushed on time. We had three mm -hmm. days to find a coach. Weeks? So we were told that they did take care of the roof. Three weeks. Three weeks. What I, you said three days. No, we did. We had three days. Once three weeks since the owner. Yeah. But then when we decided we weren't going to go with the fifth wheel. Because oh. we were going to go with the fifth wheel first. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Then we had three days. <laughs> it was a last minute back. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, coming back now. So the roof was supposed to be taken care of. They were supposed to go around and seal it with Dicor, any of the cracks in that. A little bit of time passed on and I got up on the roof and did seal all the cracks. Cracks are everywhere on every single seal there is on that roof. And it was extremely obvious that they were old. Checked with someone else within the company and said, yeah, they didn't touch that. There's no way. Um, once we got to another location and there was a place on the roof that was really soft, up this big. And we had the um, driver's side window replaced. It was foggy yeah. when we first bought it and they ordered the window but it took several weeks to get in. The water pump. Yes. To, and we got in, you hooked everything up and we were inside and everything and um, went back outside and there's water. Yeah, there was a pond. There was a pond on the <laughs> ground. I mean, and it hadn't even been 
very and long. And so then... I called DNR up and asked if they could stock it with the fish. Long story short, when you have your city water hooked up and you see water pouring out underneath, it's coming out of your overflow. And what's happening is instead of going to your faucets, it's bypassing somehow and going directly to your fresh tank, filling that fresh tank that you use when you go boondocking. <laughs> And it got so full that it was overflowing, going out the overflow underneath. So, two things. Either the valve that you switch over when you want to fill the uh, fresh tank on purpose. <laughs> and if that's not it, then it's your water pump. The water pumps can go bad. And the valve inside the water pump goes bad and allows the water to back back for soon that fills the fresh tank instead. So, I replace that. It wasn't easy to get to but it was actually a pretty simple yeah. fix. I called around to see if we can get fixed. The guy came and then told me, oh, that's that pump is uh, expensive. Yeah. It's, and I asked him how much, it's 300 and some dollars. Yeah. This time, he didn't know it, but I already knew how much it would cost. So I was testing him. You can order it on Home Depot, the exact same pump, literally, same model number and everything, for 50 bucks. And I saw the Amazon could get it there too. So I just ordered it 50 bucks and did it myself. So the um, water heater, it's a precision temp water heater. It uh, also heats your coach as well. It runs off electric and propane. And it's, um, it's a tankless, kind of like an aqua hot, except it doesn't use diesel fuel. Um, that had some issues. And um, that happens to be where we are now at the uh, dealership getting those things mm -hmm. finally taken care of. Like a week before we could get the service done and we spent at least eight days showering at the RV park, which your shower was better than my shower. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> For some reason, the men's restroom was better than the women's. And then uh, TV, I replaced the TV. Um, that was by choice. There was nothing wrong with it. It was just an old TV and it got really hot and behind the cabinet, it got really hot from it. You restrung at least three oh, blinds. Oh, blinds, I have four. That mm -hmm. was, and two window blinds were very large. So, yeah. Those he loves kind of doing that. I do. And he's the, you're the guru of the blind restringer, of pleated blinds. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> well, so far they're working. <laughs> That's the downfall of the pleated blinds, yeah. the strings. I hope to change them sometime. What are the things that we have enjoyed so far? The most enjoyable thing is hearing the comments, feedback from people, yeah. and questions, and uh, start to realize there's other people out there that have always thought about doing this and want to know what to do, you know, how do you do this? I've enjoyed um, working with a view, working my job with a view out of palm trees outside of the window. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the views aren't all that great if you're staring at another RV. But. Yeah. Please. So in the first three months, we've been to two rallies. Yeah. We've been to FMCA was the first one, and that was in Indio, California, which is really only about... 10 to 15 minutes. It, okay. It's it right close. there in the Coachella yeah. Valley. It was just uh, kind of what they call their small rally, I guess. Um, we only we just drove our car there, so we were only there one day. And, of course, again, our first rally, we didn't know what to expect, so there's vendors galore in this huge building and we're just like going we don't have enough time we should have like come two days at least you probably know what michelle really likes besides the coconut cream pie they also had free oh my gosh <laughs> free ice cream yeah 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 that... we stood in a long line for that one and then the other rally was the court site um arizona yeah, the 2019 Quartzsite Sports Vacation and RV yeah. Show. And that's a very, very, very large, large yeah. RV show. Quartzsite, they put on um, a lot of, what, other types of shows there, like rock, mineral shows. They yeah. have flea markets there. I think they kind of have them there quite a, frequently. But the large vacation sports and RV show is in this one time a year and they say you know like tons of people t 
tons of RVs come for this. Maybe it's 10 days. When we got started, uh, one of our first uh, uh, YouTube creators that we started watching was there at the same time. And yeah. Enjoy the journey. Yeah, enjoy the journey. Life. We met up with them. Tom and Cherie. We had a really good time chatting with mm -hmm. them. So that yeah. that really made the the trip really yeah. worthwhile. Very nice couple. And um, um, again, that was another one that we just drove our car to because it was mm -hmm. only a couple hours from where we were at. So. Yeah. So another thing I thought we would talk about, a lot of people that are not full-time RVers yet may wonder, um, like Christmas, you know, what do you do? Waiting for holidays, yeah. you're so away from your family. What we did, we got on Amazon and we ordered a bunch of things and it's kind of nice because you can get some things that aren't even at Walmart or wherever, you know, your local stores. And, and they actually wrapped them. And so it was really cool mm -hmm. and just send it right to their mm -hmm. address and just say don't open till Christmas yeah. <laughs> and um, and then we did FaceTime can you see us okay yeah, yeah. a Jojo retro <laughs> whoa another Jojo thing it's kind of fun to watch her open up the gifts and, and yeah. uh, Brendan and Sarah as well and it's, it's, it's nice of course it's not the same as being right there, of but it was not, pretty. No. But we're it's fortunate better than, to yeah. have the technology yeah. these days to do that. Yeah. So um, let's see, church. If you go to church, we really loved our church um, back in West Des Moines, yes. Iowa. They had their church service yeah, online. Well, they streamed. A lot of times we couldn't make it, and we would just watch it home then. Mm -hmm. Well, now we can still watch it. Yeah. Everywhere we go. A lot of the RV parks so far that we found have a church service come mm -hmm. in on Sunday or they'll yeah. just give you you know a, a tip of going to a local church yeah, nearby we had a neighbor of ours yeah. there staying there that was going to a church there in Palm Springs and we kept driving by it before we talked to them and they were going to that so mm -hmm. of course you got churches you can go to but if you're partial to your own hopefully they have the online service yeah. as well after Christmas, we went to a New Year's Eve party, <laughs> which is probably, uh, we talked about it, it was by far our favorite New Year's Eve party that we've oh, ever yeah. been to. Yeah. It was when we were in the Palm Springs area, and it was at the Spa Resort Casino, uh, casino in Palm Springs, and it was an 80s rockin' theme. And of course, it was a little chilly that night, and everything was outside of their casino for this. And uh, the tickets were Fairly cheap. You say they were like, was it ten dollars? I think so. And they had a live band. Yeah. And they had a lot. Well, they had a, a DJ up until the live band started at nine. I think it was. Yeah. But, um, but the DJ of course, you know, was really hard. good. We were yeah. like, you know, he was playing all these the '80s music and everything. And of course, you know, that's our era. And then they had, you know, the, had fireworks and everything at midnight. And the vendors there, food. slots and then go back out and enjoy as you could tell from a lot of our videos we've uh, been to quite a few destinations um, you know, we did the aerial tram in Palm Springs we did the Indian canyons we did Topwoods canyons we did the Living Desert Zoo we like we decided we were going to yeah. try to spend more time in each area so that we can be better prepared to give advice. California, Southern California is really where we started. After our maiden voyage, we went to California. We spent a lot of time in the Palm Springs area. And our intentions is to 
spend a lot of time in each area because we don't feel that we can go somewhere and give a give good advice if we really haven't spent a lot of time in that area. Yeah. Um, we can go to like the aerial tramway and show you our experience there like we did in other places. But as far as the area, we wanna we wanna be semi-professional <laughs> about the area yeah. so that we can give good advice about each yeah. area that we spend around the United States, Alaska, Canada, Mexico, everywhere we go. Uh, we've seen a lot of full-timers. Yeah, and family full-timers, like yeah. it's, with well, we kids. And... Got invited to a Super Bowl party with a big group of full-time families. They have their own group. Very it's nice. called full-time families. The time that we've been there, um, downtown Palm Springs, every Thursday night, um, starting at about six, I think it goes from six to 10, is their village fest down one street and maybe a few off the side of uh, vendors, um, food, and they have music playing. And it's nice to get out and wander through that. We've seen a large, uh, like a marathon race. Yeah, I can't remember, but oh, Tour de Palm Springs. Yeah, Tour that? de Palm Springs went on, and we've seen, well, of course, we've tried several restaurants. Um, Again, I'm going to mention my favorite, Sherman's Deli and Bakery. I'm telling you, you've got to go there. There's two locations, Palm Desert and Palm Springs. Try them both. They have the best coconut cream pie. I don't know how many times I have to mention this. Coconut cream pie. I mean, sandwiches yeah. this high, salads so large. Oh my God. We share uh -huh. this high and large. <laughs> And of course, I have to leave room for pie. So, and so we've also uh, been to several Mexican restaurants that have been good. Oh, we love our Mexican food. Wow. We found a new one that we fell in love with just last night. <laughs> Best ever. We got service let's, let's and go. the food. Go. Yeah, we'll be back. A lot of people might say, you know, well, you know, you have such a small cooking area or whatever. And what do you do for your your meals? Um, do you try to stay on your same nutrition diet? It's hard when there's pie, but guess where we're going for dinner? McDonald's? No. Uh, Taco Bell? No. Del Taco? No. Wendy's? What do I like the most in Me. this Coachella Valley? Besides you. Me? To eat for food. Oh. What? do I like the most? I'm driving. Do I know where I'm going? I hope so. What do you like the most in the Coachella Valley? What do I talk about all the time? Medjool dates. No. No. Um, the hummingbirds. You're not going to eat food. a hummingbird, are you? No. Don't you dare eat a hummingbird. How dare you? Okay. I'm going. Coconut candy bars. Coconut cream pie at Sherman's oh, yes, Deli. That's right. We're that's going there going. for supper. We're gonna have. You're gonna have coconut cream pie for supper. If I can, yeah, I would. <laughs> I suppose I should have some kind of a sandwich. First. Yeah, you probably should have something. Yeah. I'm oh, so speaking of so sandwiches, excited. Sherman's has gluten-free bread for all uh, yes. those that cannot have wheat or gluten. Oh, and they're, oh my God, they're good. They're sandwiches. They're just, they're this big. Yeah, we can share a sandwich because they're so big. They're huge. Yeah. Plus your side that you get yeah, too. Yeah, you get. And we share that. Yeah. And we're full. Because then if we share, there's room for a pie. But she eats. He gets a couple bites. Yeah, I, I get, get a couple bites and then I suffer the consequences. <laughs> Yay! She's not excited at all. Can you tell? Not a little bit. What was that? Hi. But I will admit, Brian is our cook, our chef. He's a very, very good cook. Not that I don't cook. It's just that he She's likes. She's a good cook. She just, he likes to cook, and I'm like, okay. Go yeah, for that's it. what it is. Go for it. She's a very good cook. Okay. I wonder if we'll get He's good at just making stuff up, and I'm more of a I'll follow a recipe. Yeah, be I, good, but. I measure things the Italian way. Yeah, a little um, bit. I do measure, but sometimes. We do pretty good during the week, though. I mean, um, he fixes our meals, and we try 
try really hard to stay um, low carb. Low carb. It was very hard. Yeah, you, you do know that coconut cream pie is. Yeah, like, I know. But then there's cheat yeah. days. You have cheat days, right? Is that coconut <laughs> cream pie? Yeah. Okay. And hopefully we'll share some more recipes for yeah those low carbers out there. Yeah. We've got some pretty good ones. We got we still have a few keto recipes that we use, but um not really on a keto diet anymore. We just try to stay low carb a little bit. We have four data plans right now. Yeah. She has one for her work that is through her company. Mm -hmm. She has her own personal one she uses. We did some research on it and it's called Visible. It's through um, Verizon. Verizon yeah. You get unlimited data, truly unlimited, mm -hmm. and the speeds are limited at five megabytes per second, which has been plenty. We can actually yeah. watch YouTube videos. Yeah. Um, of course, you can't watch it in a high quality, anything over 480 or 720p, but we don't yep. use that now. We use our hotspot through Verizon. You don't have to sign a contract or anything. It's just monthly, pay by the month and it's $40. It does limit you to some areas where you get cell service, yeah. but Very you still get LTE few. in that. Yeah. We've, we've traveled from Texas to California and California to Nevada. Nevada, and there was only one little spot I want to say probably um, another thing we should mention is working. How do we work? I have to have more of a designated desk area because I use two monitors for my work. I don't have to. I can just work off of a laptop, but my particular work, it is a lot easier to use two monitors. On our traveling days, I've worked from a laptop and it's yeah. been fine. She sits here at the center desk and I rotate from chair over by the TV with, uh, I got one of those laptop like holders. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I come to the kitchen table where I'm like two feet from her. And then every once in a while in one of these chairs just to change it up a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of funny though, because sometimes we'll be working, yeah, it was the last Friday or Thursday or something like that. Hours went by and we yeah. hadn't even talked to each other. <laughs> it was just like, like we were both so focused and ingrained in our work. It was like we're like two feet from each other, and we haven't said a word for hours. I know. That's funny. <laughs> Time flies. It does. I mean, I I have a um, dedicated schedule that I have to abide by. Um, so it's Monday through Friday. I work forty hours, and Brian works that plus. <laughs> and really, it's only the weekends that we. Um, have to be able to go sightseeing, yeah. and do whatever even, we need to do. Even then, we're trying to do that's when we take all of our footage usually. Yeah. So we're kind of working then too. Both, right. both kind of are right. actually, but it's more of an enjoyable type. Yeah, because we work so much. How to stay focused? No, flexible. Like because we sit so much. Flexible. <laughs> It's really thing. hard once you're focused and ingrained in your work and you're busy and time is flying by and it's been like three hours and you realize you haven't even stood up. That's probably one of the, the biggest downfalls I'd say. Is it is. Because we we both are the same type. We'll just keep working and working and working and not. So we're trying yeah, to get so. better at that. Whether it's just one person standing up and, the, and saying to the other one, okay, come on. You know, like, let's stand up for a little bit. Let's, you know, do Jumpy some jacks. exercises, let's... get the blood flowing. I guess you could say that's a challenge, really, is to try to stay, um, try to stay healthy with our lifestyle on the weekends we probably oh, get more definitely. exercise yes. now than we did when we were back oh, yeah. home because we weekends walk a lot. back <laughs> when we lived in the house we were either like going to a movie right. sit down or, in iowa there's not it's hard to do a lot of outdoor activities because in the winter time it's too cold nobody wants to be outside much summertime it's muggy or when the temperature is nice it's either windy and bugs flying all over <laughs> or the humidity is really high so there's very few times when the weather I mean, is that's, perfect. That's how we work. We just uh, didn't care for the weather so much. Where were we going with that? I don't know. That was a squirrel <laughs> moment. That, that being said, as far as working, I'm sure a lot of people have questions about working. Is it hard to work from home? Or when you're in those views, is it hard to work when you got all that going on? Is it yes. hard not to go outside? Yes. It may be hard, but if you're 
You have to have dedication. Because her and I both are very <laughs> dedicated. We we can't start something without finishing. That's the three months. That seemed like it went quickly, but yet it seems like it's been longer. I don't know. Is that possible? It went fast, but yet it seems longer. So if anybody has any questions that we haven't covered it, please, by all means, make a comment down below in the comment section and we'll we'll answer you as soon as we can. The main purpose of doing this is to help others. We were inspired by other YouTube creators and we want to pay it forward and do the same. Pull over and get more yeah. footage, <laughs> footage, footage, oh, footage, okay. footage, video footage of um, yeah, that's a new word you can say footage. when you go to the store and you're going to try something on. I'm going to get some footage. Yeah. <laughs> Not the most major know. that I can think of right now. You Reese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This high and large. <laughs> we share a meal. With this big. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta check see if this is still going. We've about wasted three about months. three minutes of this video yeah. so far talking about absolutely like nothing. nothing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank God that was still running. <laughs> I did not want to say all that over again. <laughs> we do. Oh, we've had to do that oh. before. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I quit! Do some Jack. exercises, get the butt, blood flowing, and... Get the butt flowing? Get the butt flowing, and... <laughs> no, you don't want the butt flowing. <laughs> You'll edit that, right? Oh, we gotta <laughs> empty the tanks, that reminds me. <laughs> yeah. Speed what through the curves. About? Squirrel. I don't know, yeah. Oh, she's... <laughs> extremely afraid of bees. Wow, I'm It surprised. was a friendly one. Otherwise... You held your composure. <laughs> If you see me <laughs> She'll suddenly start run, swatting. that is... I, I may get a black eye out of yeah. this. Uh, is he gone? He's on your hair, but just don't move. He is not. I don't hear him <laughs> buzzing. And, oh, coming back now. Hey, block that from my brain. <laughs> anyway. It's such a time. But, uh... That's <laughs> my train of thought there. <laughs> time out. A Ferrari or a... What? Lamborghini just went going by. <laughs> Lime green. Okay, time in. Okay. Game on! <laughs> Game on! Those are the things that we have enjoyed so far. Each other. Yes. <laughs> we still in love. Uh, we are not pros. We're by not? any means. Nope. Nope, nope, We're nope, not? nope, nope. Really? But 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 that's all folks. How do we end this? How you guys tell us, how do we end this? It's always hard to end a video. Okay. Thanks for watching. No. So oh, that yeah. we've got big plans. <laughs> Stay tuned. Or will they change? We don't know. Or will they not? <laughs> or will Your we turn. stay on the same path? Or will we not? <laughs> all right. Until Thanks next for time. watching. <laughs> Hit that like button. Subscribe. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and website. our website. Yeah, got a livingourvision dot com. Couple pages we've got on there. Still, part of it is under construction, but we've got a couple pages that are <laughs> that are live right now. So check it out. And like she said. I'm afraid of her, so I, I'm just telling you, you better do what do she it. says. Subscribe. <laughs>